This next class member feel welcome. How about a big round of applause for Diego Gardino? Let him hear it, Diego! What is going on, everybody? Make some noise for yourself. Thank you for coming out. So my name is Diego. My mom brought me here from Peru when I was nine years old. Being an immigrant has been the funnest thing ever. Uh, you know, you know, I had to teach my mom English. We had to teach each other English. When we used to go to the drive-thru at McDonald's, you know, we used to pull up and she would be like, eh, can I get uh, two cheeseburgers? And you want fries? Uh, no, no fries. And two Cokes and no ice. And I'd be like, and the drive-thru lady would be like, no what? She's like, no ice. And I'm like, no mom, no ice. Like, like the people that are trying to get rid of us. <laughs> At my fifth grade graduation, um, you know, we didn't. Have, there was no cell phones back then. There was no, you know, video cameras. Um, I'm going on stage, and you know, I'm going up there, and they're like, uh, "Please make some noise for the class of 2004." And I'm going up there, and my mom's up there with this big video camera, you know, <laughs> and she's like, "Diego, Diego." Look. And, my, and my friend's like, my friend's like, dude, I think that's your mom trying to say hi to you. And I'm like, dude, I have no idea who the fuck that is. Keep going. <laughs> I just turned 30 years old not too long ago. Uh, and you know, you got to start prioritizing some things, right? You know, I love sex, but what I love more these days is a great night of fucking sleep. <laughs> my, <laughs> My, uh, my ex-girlfriend called me up three days ago, and she's like, hey, um, I was, uh, you know, I wanted to call you. I was a real bitch the other night, and uh, I'm so sorry. And I wanted to see if you wanted to come over and cuddle and uh, get some good sleep, and then tomorrow we can go get some lunch on me. And I said, you just said good night of sleep? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, get over here, you little slut. I'll be over there in 10 minutes. Why not? Right? So, has anyone's Uber driver ever tried to rape him? Mine did. I left the bar one night, and um, I get in the front, because I like to talk to the Uber drivers. You know, the times are tough. You want to make people laugh, have a good time. And the Uber driver's taking me home. And uh, after we're talking or whatever, whatever, he puts his hand on my lap. And he goes, you, you want me to suck your dick? <laughs> and I was like, put his hand off my lap. I ran out of the car. Two weeks later, my friends are like, hey, we got an Uber, let's go. I'm like, let's go. They're like, we got the back, D. All right, I guess I'd never learn from my mistakes. So. I get in the front, I open the car door, and it's the Uber driver sitting there like, hey. <laughs> so I end, up, I end up closing the door, I was like, no. When I got home, I'm like, hey, how was the Uber drive, guys? And they're like, we don't want to fucking talk about it. <laughs> uh, for my last thing, you know, I was thinking, you know, there was no, no technology back then. There was no cell phones, nothing like that. I imagine that you know guys used to have to walk around with you know dick pics in their pockets, you know. <laughs> now we now we got dick pics flown around everywhere. <laughs> you walk, you know, you walk, you see a nice lady, and you're like, there you go. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. And, and I just want to say. I love you, Mom. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Big hand for Diego and Diego's mom. Yeah. This will give Diego's.